live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE, covering Google Cloud Next 19. Brought to you by Google Cloud and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to Google Cloud Next 2019, everybody. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage. My name is Dave Vellante, and I'm here with my co-host, Stu Miniman, John Furrier is also here. Three days of wall-to-wall -wall coverage of, of Google's big cloud show, customer event. This is day two. Ashok Ramu is here, he's the Vice President of Cloud and Customer at Actifio, Boston-based. Great to see you again, thanks for coming on. Good to be here. So, big show, uh, Actifio, category creator. Yeah. Right? Yep. Grinding it out, battling in a very competitive space. Absolutely. Uh, doing very well. Give us the update on what's going on with your company. So first of all, we are super excited to be here at Google Next, right? We're one of the strategic partners for Google. Been, uh, working well in all departments. Uh, we had a great announcement today. We announced Actifio Go for Google, which is our SaaS offering. Uh, and it's dedicated to the Google platform. We want to have the Actifio experience be that much more better and easier for people running uh, data sets anywhere, particularly on Google. So, and Google has been one of our premier partners over the last, I would say, three years or so. We've gone from strength to strength. So very happy to be here and super excited to be launching this offering. So when you guys started Actifio, it was, it was clear you saw um, a market beyond just backup, beyond just insurance. You started to develop, you popularized copy data management, uh -huh. you got that term, everybody uses that today. Uh, you, you sort of focused on other areas, DevOps, analytics, and things of that nature. How has that gone? How has it resonated with customers? Where are you getting the most traction today? So great question, I mean, uh, it's gone really well, right? We've kind of been the leader, like you said, setting up the category and basically changing the way data is looked at and being managed, right? Um, data now as a commodity is no longer a commodity, but it's an asset, and we are kind of enabling companies to leverage that asset in many different ways. Uh, and cloud is here, everybody wants to go to the cloud. Every customer we talk to, every prospect we touch wants to leverage cloud. And Google is coming in with a lot of strength, with a lot of capabilities. So what we are building in terms of data transformation, the data aware, application aware technologies we have is resonating very well. Uh, the DevOps space we talked about you know, is, is the tip of the spear for us. It, it, it accounts for over 70% of our business. Um, you know, and at the last I checked, over 60 to 70% of our customers are leveraging cloud in some form. I right, beat for DevOps, cloud bursting, DR, and all of those categories. And you know, having a very strong enterprise DNA makes us deal with scale very easily. We take complex applications and make it look simple. And that's been our strength for the past nine years. So we continue to innovate in that strength and work with Google to make the platform even more stronger. Yeah, when, when I think back of those, those early days, uh, you said uh, enterprise architecture, it was like, okay, let me understand that architecture, the building blocks, you know, the software IP that you have, but yeah. it's been a, quite a different discussion I've been having with your, your team the last couple of years, because as you said, cloud is front and center, and not surprising to hear that DevOps is, is a big piece of, help, help us update kind of that, that journey, and you know, a full SaaS offering today, how you got from kind of the origins of the company to you know, a SaaS offering. Sure, right, I mean we always knew we had a phenomenal product, right, and a phenomenal set of customers. We have a number of Fortune 1000, 2000 customers with us. And you know, what we realized is the adoption of, you know, to understand how cloud works and understand how customers can easily manage the cloud, the experience becomes much more important. Uh, and so the SaaS offering is more about how do you experience the same great Actifio technology with a push button ease of use. So we enable the implementation, installation, ingestion of data in a minute. So by the time you're done with the whole process, you're already starting to leverage the Actifio technology in the cloud of your choice. And Actifio Go for Google particularly targets SAP HANA, SQL, and other complex workloads. So these workloads are traditionally been you know, very infrastructure heavy, very people heavy in terms of managing. And what we've done is to radically transform how you manage those workloads. A uh, lot of organizations and, and the conversations I've had over the last 24 hours has been HANA this and HANA that. How do I make HANA simpler? I've heard Actifio is the way to go for managing SAP HANA. How do you guys tackle it? And these are very interesting conversations with a lot of thought leaders who help us not only build a better product but also Im improve the experience of how they take it from there. So that's how I, I would see the transformation for the company. Why, why is Actifio make HANA simple? What is it specifically about you guys so, that differentiate you? 
think it's a great question. So HANA in general has been a very complicated, hard to install, hard to, hard to, hard to manage application. So what ActiveView brings in is native application technology, right? So we don't go after infrastructure, we don't go after just storage, but we look at the application as a whole. So when you talk application down, we learn the application, we figure out how it works, how it works best, and how it is the best way to capture it and present data back, which is what it's all about. And when you start from there, it's a hard problem to tackle. So it takes a little bit of time for us to tackle that problem, but when the solution comes out, it works one way across all platforms. So we've had customers moving data from on-prem to the cloud, and they don't see a difference. They used to go left, now they go right, but as far as the application tool chain works, it works the same way. A developer using HANA is using HANA the same way yesterday that he used today because even though the database is moved from on-prem to the cloud. So that transformation requires the level of abstraction and understanding the application that we have automated and built into our engine. Okay, the hard question for data protection, data management mm -hmm. folks today is how are you attacking SaaS. Yep. Most companies that we ask that question to, is that roadmap, roadmap, and it may be that case for you too, but what is your uh, strategy with regard to SaaS? Because something triggered me when you talked about the application, and I know Ash, mm -hmm. I know his background, huh? you know, his systems view, application view sure. has always been his expertise, sure. and your company's expertise. How, uh, is that a, an opportunity for you guys? Is it one that you're actually actively pursuing? If so, explain. If not, why not? Is it on the roadmap? You know, it's certainly an opportunity we're pursuing, and you know, we're working with a number of SaaS vendors to figure out, again, a sense of you know, where is the critical data mass. SaaS has a number of components to it, and the essence of any particular application is you know, where is the workload, what is the state machine, and how do you manage it? That's mm -hmm. the key element, and once you tackle that, the SaaS application is like any other application. Right. So we have you know, people working with us to build custom connectors for like Office 365 and other, other elements of SaaS products. So as time evolves, you'll see us. You know, we'll start working, we'll have announcements for the Cloud SQL and other Google platform as a service offerings, Amazon RDS. So those offerings are coming and we will be basically, we're building the platform and once the platform comes, just like Actifio has done, we will tackle the SaaS applications one at a time. So it's not a technical easily. challenge, it's really a business challenge, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Yeah. It's a business challenge and you know, for us, we have to focus on where the customers want to go, where the enterprise customers want to go. And SaaS at this point is, I would say, emerging to be a place where enterprise wants to adopt it at a scale that they want to adopt it in. So we're certainly focusing on that. And I think there's a perception too, Stu, that well, the SaaS vendor, they're in the cloud, they got my data protected, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we know that's not the case. Or we need to worry it, about right? that. Uh, and I, th I said protected, and that's not fair to you yeah, guys, because you have a much, much wider right. scope. So, but, you know, back we were talking about SAP, and we've watched some of these, you know, big, tough applications, sure. and they're moving to the cloud. Sure. There's a lot of choices out there. Uh -huh. you, you have an announcement specifically about Google. What can you tell us about why customers are choosing Google, and if you have any stories about joint Google customers that you have, would, would love oh, to hear that. Have, uh, I would say, let's start off, you know, I would thank Google because it's one of the key partners for us. Uh, we've done over, you know, many, many million dollars last year, and we want to double the number this year, right? Uh, and it's been all the way from companies that have 15 to 20 VMs to companies that have 20,000 VMs. So it spans the gamut. You know, from an infrastructure perspective, Google is the best of the breed. Nobody knows infrastructure compute memory better than Google. Nobody knows networking better than Google. Nobody knows security better than Google. So these are the choices why enterprises now are saying, okay, Google is a choice. And as I see on the show floor today, last year was, I have a project, maybe Google. This year is, how do I do ABC with Google? So the conversations have shifted off, should I do Google versus how do I do ABC with Google? And when you marry Actifio's technology, which is infrastructure agnostic, we don't care where your application runs, and with that mantra, you marry that with Google infrastructure, it creates a very powerful combination for enterprises to adopt. Yeah, so just as a follow up to that, when we talk to customers here, multi-cloud is the reality. So <laughs> how does that play into your story, and where, where, where do you see that fit? We were always built multi-cloud, so right from day one, uh, Actifio's platform, architecture, everything has been infrastructure agnostic. So when you build something for VMware or Amazon, it works as is in Google. And, and with the latest capabilities around cloud mobility that we announced a few months ago, you can move data seamlessly between different cloud platforms. Uh, SAP, in fact, has just chosen you know, Actifio to run 
be its de facto data protection platforms on all, all cloud platforms. So you'll soon hear you know, Actifio also being supported on Ali Cloud. Uh, so that we'll be the only cloud platform that is the golden standard to protect complex workloads like SAP has. You mentioned you have a team in, in Hyderabad. Um, what, what, are you, what are they working on? Is it sort of part of the broader development team? You know, cloud focus, Google focus, what's... what's uh, what, what? The team in Hyderabad is very much integrated to our engineering team out of yeah. Boston. So, you know, they're basically equivalent. Uh -huh. uh, we all work together collaboratively. Uh, the talent in Hyderabad is now building a lot of our cloud technologies and as well as the emerging technologies. Uh, so we've been able to staff up a very strong team and a set of very strong partner teams to kind of help us augment what we have here. So uh, lead, leaders here are basically leveraging the resources in Hyderabad to kind of accelerate the development. Because like you know, there's no shortage of work. Yeah, yeah, so you're following the sun <laughs> and, that's, and that, and that the talent pool in that part of India has really exploded, and you've seen you know, big companies, you know, all the all the cloud providers, all the all the the, the new rideshare companies are oh, there. Yeah. And, you know, it's war for talent, isn't there? Exactly. Yeah, good. So, talk roadmap a little bit. What, what can we expect going forward? You know, show us a little leg, if you would. So you can see a lot more announcements around Actifio Go for Google. We will be enhancing the experience around you know, adopting and ingesting SAP and SQL, et cetera. Mm -hmm. You'll be looking at a lot of our SaaS integration offerings that are coming out. Uh, you'll talk about Office 365, Cloud SQL, Amazon RDS, things like that. We'll have a migration suite to talk about you know, how, do you, how do you ingest and manage Kubernetes containers because that's becoming a, a common place today. Right? Uh, how, do you, how do you tackle complex container environments, microservices, so that's a f an area of focus for us. And continue to you know, uh, build and, and integrate further into the application ecosystem. Uh, because these applications are not getting simpler. Mm -hmm. SAP is continuing to build more complex applications. How do you tackle the diverse roadmap and keep up with it? That's going to be what we're going to be focusing on. So Actifio Go, we talked about that a little bit, that was an announcement here, that's, that's your hard news. Yes. Um, it's, 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 when's it shipping and when's it available? It's ready to go. Um, go. I mean, it's a SaaS offering, so there's nothing to ship, you know. So it's an actual SaaS pricing it's a, model? It's an actual SaaS pricing model, SaaS offering, one-click purchase, wizard base installed, so yes. Stu's laughing because so many SaaSes aren't a <laughs> true cloud pricing model. <laughs> oh. Three years, can only grow up, <laughs> and, can't and scale it's down. Not, <laughs> it's not an entity for reporting. It's not an entity that just gives you a bunch of glamour screens, it is actually taking your HANA workloads and giving it to you for data protection, backup, disaster recovery, right? So it is, it is true Actifio, the time-tested Actifio enterprise product now being offered as SaaS, so. And, 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 and how are you going to market with, with that product? So we have a number of vendors as well as Google partners here trying to uh, get work with them to, to, and to kind of generate demand and awareness. So this has been in works for over six months now. So it's um. not something that came out of the blue. And we've been working with Google in formulating the roadmap for us. What's so the Actifio uh, ecosystem looking like these days? How is that evolving? It's, it's, a, it's, it's a, I would say, you know, the customers are the front and center of our ecosystem. We've always built a company uh, with customers first mentality and uh, they drive a lot of our innovation because they give us a lot of requirements and they reach us in different angles. So they've helped us push the cloud roadmap. They've helped us push to the point where they want faster adoption, easier adoption, and that's kind of where we're going. Uh, the, the ecosystem is now still around enterprises, but the enterprises are trying to innovate themselves because now data is readily available, right? Uh, so AppJ uh, with, with large financial institutions, GDPR, so these are all the requirements that they're throwing at us, saying, okay, you can manage data, how do you air gap it? How do you work with object storage? How do you work with different kinds of technologies they want to work with us? And you know, we've always stepped up to the plate saying, sure, if it's a new piece of technology that we feel is viable and has a roadmap, we'll jump at it and solve the problem with you. And that's always been the way we've, we've partnered and, and, and grown the company. Yeah, you mentioned AirGap, something we haven't talked about this week is, uh, is ransomware. We talk about it at most, most conferences. It's, uh, it's one of those unpleasant things that's a tailwind for companies like you. Right, right. <laughs> And we have an offering around ransomware, right? So if you look at cyber resiliency, we are the only product in town wherein if you're hit by ransomware, you can instantly recover and say, oh, my ransomware hit me on the 17th of January. Anything after that is gone, but at least I can get to the 17th of January and start my business up. Otherwise, everything else, every other product out there, this will take weeks or months to figure it out. So you know, that's another type of a solution that came up 
not we're not we're not happy about ransomware, but that does happen. So we have a solution for the problem. Right. Ashok, thanks so much for coming on theCUBE. It's uh, great to have you. Happy to be here. All right, we'll see you back in Boston. Thank All you. right. All right, thanks for, thanks for watching everybody. This is theCUBE, we'll be here tomorrow, uh, day three, Stu Miniman, Dave Vellante, and John Furrier. Google Next, cloud, big cloud show, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.